finished. Um, one other thing, I suppose, effects that are quite popular is um, uh, there's an instrument called the vocoder, which I don't own mm -hmm. anyone. I uh, don't know one, but um, it's a synthesis system which allows the vocals to be passed through a multi-band filter, like as I showed you before, just a filter. Um, and then each is passed an envelope follower, which basically then will generate extra notes or envelopes in terms of communicating. Basically, it'll, it'll sort of re-synthesize notes that aren't there to follow the vocal. So, for example, the sun will through a microphone there. Um, I'll show you an example in a second, but here it's used by Kraftwerk, Pink Floyd, the 70s, Heavy Hancock, Stevie Wonder. So it gives you that sort of robot voice sound. There's a, um, I've got a classic track here from Kraftwerk called We Are Robots, where they use the um, vocoder. So, for example. So that's your, your vocoder sound. It can be Um, yeah, so that's sort of an example of that. Um, one of the little effects which would be the last thing I'll sort of show you um, is a thing called a MIDI arpeggio, which I use a bit as well. Um, it sort of allows um, uh, your basic note playing to sound really complex and, and cool. Uh, for example, I had this. Um, this is just like we're just doing a couple of notes, oscillating for two notes, but if you use a MIDI arpeggio, um, it can sound a lot more complex. I can do something really difficult, but it's just basically will automatically play a, um, uh, an arpeggiation, basically, sort of classical music terms of, of what your notes are, and you can set them to major line chords or, or run up and down a scale, even depending on how you set it. So that's one of the little handy tricks that you can use within live music performance. Um, all of the synths have arpeggiation built in, but it's very standard sort of mini effect, which comes up in the live. Um, yeah, so I think. There's a couple of little things I'll just finish on. Um, other controllers that I, I don't have that can around is the Chaos Pad, which is not a MIDI controller, um, and, and also sort of has a built-in sample effects processor made by Korg, which allows you to um, control um, samples you feed through it, or you can then use it as a sort of MIDI controller with it, something like Capital Live, with some of those pad controls as well. So it allows you more flexibility than just what you had traditionally with knobs or buttons. Um, so if you're interested in performing live, I recommend checking one of those out. Um, there's some good videos on YouTube that people are using to sort of see what they can, can do for you. Yeah. Um, and then circuit bending is a little thing um, which some people do um, in terms of live performance where they will um, short circuit uh, guitar effects, toys, little cheap digital synths to make um, uh, quite strange and weird wonderful sounds out of it, but they can use them as live sort of um, performance sort of elements beyond this being sort of controlled through a computer, that's sort of another element that, that can be exceeded with the sequence or all just, just um, getting strange and wonderful instruments and sounds and noises. Um, and I suppose that's the end of it, so I'll any questions?